Hi, it's me again with Corel Gold Tips and Tricks. And I was just playing around. I just did a video on this flower and how to make it. And I thought, you know, if you had to make a bunch of flowers and you wanted them all a little bit different, you could do this. Let's take away this. Now these nodes need to be touching. So instead of making the circle bigger, I'm going to grab my three-point curve line. I'm going to go from that node to that node and then put a little roundness to it. And then take your Smart Fill tool and fill that in and nudge that out of the way. Let's erase all this or delete all this. Nudge this right back. Let's get the indexing lines and hit P from both directions so we'll know what the center is. Now, let's left click, right click. Let's go to edit and clone that guy. Double click on it and move the rotation. A lot of times it doesn't look like it is, but if you hit it and it's not, sometimes it'll snap to it, sometimes it won't. Now we're perfect. Rotate it 45 degrees. Control D. Corel does that a lot of times. Sometimes it doesn't. You'll just have to double your rotation. Now, if you notice, my, my circle's not perfect, but I could have used the control key to do that. But what's cool about this, you have to use the pick tool. This is our control curve, where this is just a clone curve. So take your shape tool, and before you go do any, let's say you're going to make a bunch of flowers. Hit the plus key in your keyboard and move that other flower over. And take this shape tool on this control curve and make this flower different. You know, then you could hit the plus key on this keyboard and move it over out of the way. Keep that flower. Your control curve is still there. So you could change it still more. You could uh, make it look more like this, you know, the sun. You probably wouldn't want to do that right there, but you know, you could have different type of items, flowers, stars, whatever you wanted to with it, and have different flowers and make them, you know, a menagerie of flowers that kind of look the same, but they're different. I grabbed part of that other flower. But you see what I mean if you were drawing, now I'm gonna draw, get, grab part of that one. So if you had a bunch of flowers and you changed them all just a little bit and you could still reduce them in size and put them together. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, thank you.